bigger tight end uh, type personnel and fullbacks in the game and that kind of thing. We, we got that going a little bit today and introduced some things. So those were the, the primary emphasis. Obviously, like having two double set guys back or in that gym. What do those two guys complement each other and help them make things? I think they, I think the way they complement each other is they push each other. You know, they pair up when they're doing individual drills. They compete. They work hard against one another, and they're trying to make each other better. With some of the freshmen and the newcomers with the pads on, do you <laughs> see some of the the the, uh, the effort maybe come down, down in, down out with the pads on? Is it tougher for them? Well, yeah, that you know, obviously the tempo and the sheer volume is is new to them, and uh, but they're they're in there. They're they're. I just want them to keep fighting. You know, and, and continue to push that threshold a little bit higher each and every time they go out on the field. And uh, eventually they'll, they'll figure out um, you know, what it is uh, it means to play hard every single snap. And, um, but I, I like some of the things they're doing. They're, they're, they're great kids that are working hard. Um, we just got to continue to build. Do you want like Khalil McKenzie from a weight standpoint going into the year? You know, it's going to, you know, it depends. Um, 335, somewhere in there, you know. Um, the biggest thing is just for him to start to get in shape, you know, and then we'll, we'll start cutting that weight down and, and doing some of those things um, as we look forward. How do you distinguish that versus motor down in, down out, if you're not in the best shape? Yeah, well, you, we've all said it, fatigue makes college levels all. You, you, can't, you can't play hard if you're not in great physical condition. There's just, just no way. So we're constantly talking about those guys practicing hard and pushing themselves so that they do get in good shape, and that's really been the emphasis. John, has Rashawn picked up where he left off at spring in terms of uh, Rashawn, picking up the uh, Galden? Galden, mm -hmm. Obviously, has he picked up where he left off in the spring? At the, in the yeah, he run? has. Rashawn has made some great plays. Um, he's still learning. There's still a lot of little nuances and things that you know he has to figure out and, and adjust to, but uh, I, I, I like the way he's playing. I like Rashawn's game. He's a physical player, and... Uh, you know, he doesn't say a whole lot. He just goes out and puts his body work on film, and that's what I love about it. Are, are you at the point with him where you trust him at that spot? Yeah, that's oh, yeah, I trust him, Sean, yeah. That, and the, the, when you say trust, I mean, I know that there's – he cares. He works hard, you know. Um, is he going to make mistakes? Yeah, he's going to make mistakes. That doesn't mean I don't trust him. I, I trust Sean because of what he stands for as a young man and um, the things that he's been able to do in a very short amount of time. Um, yeah, I, I do trust Sean. Coach, how many different spots? And he work back there? Just one right now. I mean, you don't want to take and mess with a guy like that. He's trying to learn the nickel spot. It's a very uh, complicated position. There's a lot of calls that he has to make. Uh, there's a lot of things that he has to know. Receiver splits. Uh, he's involved heavily in the run game as well. And so, I, you know, he, he has the physical ability to play a lot. I just, let's just leave him alone and let him learn nickel. John, you said that you wanted to, you know, McKenzie obviously to get in better shape and everything. Mm -hmm. how, how how much work is there to be done there? Because I know he showed up a month later. Yeah, he's yeah he's he's you know he's a work in progress. Um, but Khalil's a hard worker. Um, he's dropped some some weights even since he's been here. You can see his body starting to, to tone up, and um, you know it just it, it doesn't happen overnight. You know we think we as coaches are the most impatient people in the world, and we got to continue to tell ourselves that hey, these just doesn't happen overnight. This is going to be a work in progress, and. I think that's the thing that I'm most pleased about. I see our guys working to get a little bit better each and every single day. And if you just keep doing that, and if you can consistently do that, not one day have a good day and the next day have a bad day, consistently show that improvement, you'll like your product um, when the time comes. Can you, see, can you see a big difference in Shy from the spring to now? Is, it, is that time and the six months he was here, has that benefited him in terms of some of the things you talked about with being in shape and weight and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Um, and, Shai showed up a couple times today, so um, I'll get in there and watch the film and really get a feel for it. But um, you know, he's he's working hard, and uh, certainly the, that being here for spring helped him. I mean, there's no doubt about that. So uh, we just got to keep pushing. Coach, how much better do you feel about your so overall depth this this fall compared to this time last year? Overall, overall depth with the season. Yeah, you know, um, I think we're going to be able to play more guys. That's for sure. The the problem is is that they're all you know freshmen, uh, so. The learning curve is going to be a lot for them, um, but I, I think we're building something special. I think we're working hard. Certainly, we're, we're making progress. We're headed in the right direction. But uh, you know, we're going to have a we're going to have a young defense this year, and um, that's exciting for the future. But right now, it's it's going to be challenging for us to, to continue to get better. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are awesome.